Hey eBay sellers, it's Suzanne A. Wells. Thanks for coming back for another episode. And today we have a Money Making Monday. It's been a little while since I've done one. Um, so if you are new to this format, these sales come from my Facebook group called Stay at Home Mom Selling on eBay, which anybody can join. It's we just named it that when we started the group back in 2008 and it's grown so large we can't change the name. So anybody's welcome to join. And what we do on this group is every Monday Shaney starts the thread and you post what you found, how much you paid for it, what it sold for with a link to the listing so people reading through the thread can go look at the actual listing and get their questions answered whether it's uh, was it free shipping was it auction or fixed price look at all the details and so this is the proof of what sells on eBay because hundreds of sellers comment on this post every week so you get a good diverse mix of people from all walks of life in different geographical areas even different countries and you can learn what sells so if I can get my screen to scroll here let me make sure my internet is on the right one here sometimes it switches to a slower one okay so we're gonna go through some of these with some commentary um, <laughs> since I've been selling on eBay since 2003 this is my 15th year so I have stories that <laughs> I have accumulated over the years and sometimes they just pop out when I'm doing this thread so anyway we're gonna start with Jessica our local preschool had Oh, that my children have attended has started saving me toys they no longer want that are destined for a charity donation center they let me know when they have stuff ready and I pick it up quickly got this free the mixer unit no longer worked because the batteries had corroded the metal springs I trashed the mixer and saved the parts that went with it so basically she's parted this thing out that was going to be donated she took a ten dollar offer the day after listing probably could have held out for more but have some financial goals and and preferring quick cash right now so she's just saying that parts sell which I will agree look at anything before you throw it away you want to look and see if it will sell on eBay because you just never know what people are gonna buy somebody may need that very part that you're about to throw in the trash so you just don't know okay here's a good one Donna Pierce paid two dollars at a local church thrift store sold for forty dollars plus free shipping took about two weeks so we love those sales that take about two weeks <laughs> those are those are nice so let's see what she say two dollars at a church thrift store it is a vintage World Cup soccer windbreaker jacket so yes these sporting good um, items jackets that have any type of sport on them especially if they're vintage are going to do well and this is in really nice condition the white is still white so that is that's a good thing I generally pass on white or off-white colored things at the thrift store just because it just never fails I get it home and there's a stain on it somewhere that I didn't see in the store and I'm getting to the point now where while I'm totally capable and able to do stain removal I just don't want to um, the other day I was out thrifting and I kept finding great things and I would look it over and it would have something wrong with it it would have a hole in it it would have a stain on it and while yes you certainly can sell things in defective condition or you can take the time to fix them I just don't want to anymore I'm just getting to a point where I'm really refining my business after this many years doing it and I know myself well enough <laughs> that I will have a pile of stuff that needs to be mended or stains removed and I just will let I just won't get to it because that's not fun work for me I don't want to do it so that being said that's my method you know if it's something like I could sell for a hundred dollars then yeah I will work with it but I'm just getting to the point where I know myself well enough 
that I, I'm not going to buy things that need to be mended or have stains removed just because it'll just create a big pile and I won't get to it. So that it'll be wasted money on my part. Anyway, back to this jacket. Um, 1991, so definitely vintage there. Looks really nice. Great condition. So she turned $2 into basically $50. So that's what this is all about. Okay, here we go with um, Jessica Corcoran. Knew nothing about selling these, but just that I had heard vinyl pants can do well. This is for babies. Picked them up at a local church thrift store for $2 like new. Sold within a week to someone in Iceland for $19.99. So there you go with your international shipping. If you are not offering international shipping, you are losing out. You are missing out. And look above to the link uh, for the link for my international shipping video. I am a strong supporter of shipping direct simply because it makes it cheaper for the buyer. If you're not aware, global shipping is eBay's attempt to standardize international shipping everywhere, and you just can't because shipping something to Canada from Minnesota is going to be quite different than shipping something to Japan from Minnesota. So when you do international shipping direct, the cost is is more tailored to specific buyers and their locations. And global shipping is is not really like that. It's a standard fee. Everything is shipped priority even if it doesn't have to be. Everything or most things have customs on it even if they're not needed because customs fees are different in every country so there's no way to standardize that but I'm not bashing eBay for this they were trying to come up with a way to get more sellers to do international so they came up with this program where it's somewhat systemized but bottom line is it's not fair for the buyer because they end up paying more so check out my video on that. It's a 30 minute tutorial. After you watch that you'll know how to do this on your own. But anyway, so we've got these baby pull-on pants, these uh, vinyl pants like for potty training or you can put them over diapers or whatever and she sold those for 20 bucks and she paid two dollars. So nice nice flip there. Okay here's Maddie. Um, I talked to Maddie on the phone last week and he is doing great so he was very proud of this sale so I wanted to feature this he got it for free but it needed batteries he paid $15 in total sold in less than 30 minutes for $99.99 so basically a hundred bucks and it's a calculator Hewlett-Packard 11C scientific programmable calculator with case very nice calculator so this is this is perfect um, Maddie's just getting started and he's doing really well and um, he works a part-time job and is doing eBay and wants to kind of build that he says he's doing it as a hobby right now but I think he's gonna take it further because he he's doing a, I'm doing stuff like this <laughs> 15 bucks and sold it for a hundred so you can't beat that plus this is small and easy to ship so calculators do really well uh, just make sure they work and um, if they have the manual or the case even better so that was a fantastic sale okay let's see what else we've got okay Elisa bought this at DAV I think that's a veterans thrift store disabled yeah disabled American veterans thrift store for 95 cents sold within a month for forty dollars plus shipping so let's see what this is sharper image ionic breeze air freshener for bathrooms and small spaces so there it is it looks like it was new in the box let's see let's look on the listing yep new new in the package and so she turned 95 cents into 40 bucks can't beat that 
Okay, let's see what else we can find here. Okay, here's one I wanted to show you. Kim bought this Susie Orman legal document CD-ROM, new and sealed at the bins. Uh, that the bins are the Goodwill outlets. If you don't know what that means, um, for about twenty cents, it sold eight days later for a hundred and two dollars and forty nine cents. <laughs> wow, that's great. I actually had the pleasure of meeting Susie Orman about two years ago when I went to speak at a seminar that was here in Atlanta. There was uh, Robert Herjavec was there. Susie Orman and then one of the girls from like House Hunters or Flip This House or one of those kind of shows so that was really interesting it was a PBS thing so they had a little meet and greet in the back so that was fun anyway um, $102 for this CD ROM collection uh, I guess it's a, like a course so will let's see what this is Will Living Revocable Trust Advanced Directive Durable Power of Attorney for Healthcare? So it's um, where you learn how to put all those documents together, and I guess they you make them for yourself and print them out and that kind of thing. So here you go. Burn this image into your brain of Susie Orman on the front of this Protect Your Tomorrows CD-ROM thing because Kim bought it for. 20 cents and turned it into a hundred and two dollars and 49 cents so that is fantastic yes you can't beat that and here Kim is explaining to someone else what the bins are it's a goodwill outlet this is talked about all over the internet YouTube everywhere so if you don't know what they are look that up goodwill outlet and you'll see some videos and basically it's all the stuff that comes out of the regular Goodwills that doesn't sell. So in Georgia, I think we have one down near Savannah, but we don't have them here. And the way our stores work is when everything comes in, it gets a color tag. There's four rotating tags, red, yellow, green, and blue. And each week, one of those colors is 50% off. So if anything has a the colored barb or the the initial of the letter written on the bottom of it something like that then you get 50% off after that they start pulling the color tags and all of those items get shipped somewhere else some of them go to other thrift outlets in Georgia like we have Park Avenue thrift outlet but I believe a lot of it goes out to the bins which are in other parts of the country I know there's a lot of them in the Midwest and up north but we don't have them very many here in the south at all so I know what's going to those bins because I've seen what's left on the color tag sale and it's still good stuff so the bins are arranged with you know literally big bins that you just rummage through and everything is sold by the pound so that was your quick and dirty lesson on the bins if you've been seeing this and didn't really know what it was. Okay, let's see what else we've got. Here is Amy Powers Deer. She has been on this group for a long, long time. And she's got a good sale here. I haven't been as active lately, but we are trying to get ramped back up. Found this at Goodwill for $1.99 and sold within a couple of days for $50 and shipped to Spain. So let's see what it is. Something with Disney cars. Oh, it's a costume. Disney Cars Lightning McQueen costume, size four to six. And she sold this for 50 bucks. And please make note that we are in January. Well, this is from January of 2018. So this is a costume. We're nowhere near Halloween. People still buy costumes in the off season. So kids like to play in them. Uh, kids love to dress up. And some parents just like to have these things around for entertaining their kids. Or it could be something like a school play or a, any, any other reason. Um, it doesn't always have to be Halloween. So if you have these costumes, get them listed because you can still sell them. And here's, that's the proof. 
Okay, let's see what else we've got. Okay, here's something that um, Amy found around the house. Belonged to my husband, but he never used it, and it has changed pumps. Listed and sold within a week for $30. What does this mean? Is it an insulin pump? It must be something like that. Um, just says new in package, but it looks like it must be um, some kind of maybe an insulin pump. I'm not sure. It doesn't say. But anyway, the bottom line is that it was laying around her house. It wasn't being used, and she sold it. So just a note on selling medical supplies. The rule is that if it requires a prescription, you cannot sell it on eBay. So you cannot sell a CPAP machine, but you can sell the supplies. You cannot sell medication. Uh, like for diabetic stuff, you couldn't sell the insulin, but you could sell the pump. You could sell the... Um, uh, the kit where you check your blood. Um, you can sell the diabetic test strips, all that kind of stuff. So technically if you have a prescription for something, the item cannot be resold. That's just federal law. But if it's accessories like this, um, those are okay. But the main thing is I see all the time is people saying, can they sell their CPAP machine, which is the for sleep apnea. You cannot sell the machine itself, but you can sell the supplies. So what happens sometimes is you might see these supplies at estate sales where someone has passed away, or even if you have that particular CPAP or whatever it is, um, and you get too many supplies. Because sometimes insurance will send, if it's covered by insurance, you, you have a certain stock that you get every month. And this is true with diabetic supplies because you might get a ton of test strips and you don't you don't need to check your blood three times a day maybe once a day or a few times a week um, so that's the rule on selling medical stuff on eBay okay let's see what else um, some cross stitch stuff I'm trying to find something different here's one J Janine Oh, sorry, I couldn't get that out. Uh, Janine, from my closet, Christmas gift from a few years ago. I just don't wear it anymore. Sold for $27.97 plus shipping in over a week. And it is a nice, pretty, bright Under Armour hoodie. It's a nice turquoise color. Really cute. I see these all the time. It's got the nice thumb holes. That's a big thing in athletic wear, those thumb holes so you can pull the sleeve down over your hand and your hands don't get as cold. But she sold this for $27.97. It was just something she had that she didn't use anymore. And even if you're a seasoned eBay seller, I highly recommend doing this from time to time, maybe once or twice a year, just looking around your house, stuff you don't use because you can sell it. I mean, it happens to everybody you decide you don't like how clothing fits or just doesn't feel comfortable on you or you just don't wear it or gifts people have given you that you don't use or something you bought for yourself that just didn't work out you might as well sell it you're, you're selling all this other stuff so you might as well put your own stuff up there too I do it all the time like everything in my house is for sale <laughs> because <laughs> I just like the thrill of the sale and I'm just not attached to things so I don't really care um, so I you know I'm always putting things up for sale if they if I don't like them if they don't work out that type of thing okay here's a big one Lisa Bush Darwin paid two dollars at a school fundraiser sold for a best offer of a hundred dollars plus shipping after a couple of months it is a Levi's vintage military denim jacket. These these vintage Sherpa jackets do really well. So it says 145, but she took a best offer of 100. I would have taken that too if I had paid two dollars for it and got a hundred dollar offer. Pretty sure I would have jumped on that. So let's take a look at this. It's got 
a nice zippered uh, placket in the front sort of a mock turtleneck collar and the Sherpa for those who don't know is this fuzzy stuff on the inside it's not fleece it's actually it's wool but it has this textured fuzzy uh, texture to it and it's very warm and this is called a trucker jacket so when you see this on the inside you need to stop and look that up because I have sold these myself for seventy to eighty dollars and this is one of those things that has been a big seller on eBay for many years these trucker jackets I need to put that on my 100 items list if you don't know what that is check the link above for the playlist of my top 100 items to sell on eBay I'm just making a playlist so you guys can watch that and learn about what sells but this just reminded me to put that on the list because I have sold these and they do really well so congratulations to Lisa on that T turning two dollars into a hundred dollars and it was a couple of months so that's a great investment okay let's see find something other stuff here here's an interesting thing Lisa again paid a dollar at church rummage sale sold for thirty five dollars after a few weeks so I'm thinking I need to go with Lisa to some of these church rummage sales <laughs> she's finding good stuff this is a vintage primitive wall pocket lady head vase what does that even mean let's look at this thing so it's a lady's head. I guess you just hang it on the wall for decoration. Oh, it has a little pocket in the top. So maybe you could put flowers in it or something. Not sure what you would do with that. If you know, um, comment. Let's read the description. Vintage primitive wall pocket lady head. Pre-owned in excellent condition. Doesn't really explain what it is. I'm guessing you just stick stuff in the top. Maybe flowers or something and it's just an interesting home decor piece but she got 35 bucks for it because it looks interesting and there you go that's what sells is the interesting stuff Lisa did really well at these church rummage sales she's got all kind of stuff here and this is why money making Mondays is great because you can look at what real people sold how much they got where they got it and it educates you okay I wanted to show you this one this is Connie Massaw she posts every week picked up each pack of rollers separately paid 50 cents each sold a lot for $20.99 with free shipping so this is a vintage item for those of us people who are old um, you will remember these rollers these pink hair rollers that have the little snap-on holder um, <laughs> ladies used to wear these to the grocery store and like put a scarf over their head and stuff because they were setting their hair and maybe going somewhere in the evening so they had the curlers in their hair all day and um, I think this was before hot rollers were so common but people are still wearing them that was so funny we used to see these ladies in the grocery store with these pink rollers in their hair and it was just kind of funny my mom was horrified that anyone would leave the house looking like that <laughs> but that was the 60s and 70s that's what she did okay so look for those pink rollers let's see what else we can find here <laughs> Diana she puts this on here every week another great listing done by my VA Melanie Wells paid two dollars at Goodwill and took best offer of thirty three dollars and this is a great brand this Peruvian connection if you ever see this um, and it's in good condition pick it up if it's you know price low enough but this is it looks like a dress it's just a basic yeah it's a sweater dress Peruvian connection is usually alpaca Oh, this one's cotton though but that is a pretty high-end brand so Diana bought that for two dollars and took a best offer of 33 
Also, if you're not familiar with my virtual assistant service, that is where you send us pictures and some other information and we do the listing for you. That way you can focus on shopping and shipping items when they sell and you're not glued the, to the computer all day. So I've got a link about my service right at the top there. You can check that out, but we are growing. We did almost 3,000 listings in January. So I've got... I don't even know how many, I think eight assistants now. And this business is just growing because people love it. You can outsource the listing part, whether you just don't like it, you're too busy, you um, are a caregiver and you just don't have time for the parts of your eBay business, but you want to keep doing it, or you just want to use our expertise to help you write better titles and make better listings, all of those reasons. So check that out. Okay, let's keep going down the list here and see Markham's got a bunch of stuff there. Let's let's see what's going on with his stuff. Um, oh wow, here's a good one. Bought at a yard sale for twenty dollars. Took a best offer of sixty-five, fifty-six, including shipping after about forty-five days. So let's see what this is. Okay, this is Ford one hundredth anniversary precision. Mustang, so it's like a little collectible miniature car, and he bought it for twenty bucks at a yard sale and sold it for sixty-five. So I'm wondering if he knows about cars or if he just kind of figured that out because it looked cool. Here's another one. Um, well, this is Madison, Madison Thompson. Got a huge tub of Legos for two dollars a few weeks ago. I picked out all the minifigs and they sold last night for sixty-four plus shipping on auction. So the minifigs are like the little people that are in the that come in the Lego sets. Um, so we can look at what they are. We've got a horse, we've got some little superheroes, we've got construction workers, um, looks like a pirate police officer, um, all different kind of things. So she just made a big lot of these and like there's a whole bunch of heads right here. <laughs> a bunch of little heads because you can switch out their heads and make different characters with them. So she picked out all the minifigs and sold them separately. So I mean this is just plastic. This is not any, you know, this is not ivory from elephant tusks. This is plastic. And this is just what amazes me about eBay is she got a huge tub of Legos for $2, okay? And she picked these out and they sold for 64 plus shipping. And she's probably going to sell the rest of the batch on their own for who knows how much. So this took her probably, I don't know, half an hour to pick them all out, take some pictures and put it on eBay. And this is, this is what knowledge can do for you. Knowledge is power. When you know to do this, you can make money. So let's see. Here's Madison again with a tie. Paid $1.99 at Goodwill. Sold for $28.98 about a month later. Vineyard Vines is a great brand to sell. I think I have a video on this if you're not familiar with it. I always look for this in ties because I have had great um, I don't want to say luck. I want to say experience because this is not luck. This is knowledge. You know, when people say, has anybody had any luck with this item? It's not luck. It's finding a good item, doing the research, writing your title, presenting it well, taking good pictures, and being patient and waiting for the right buyer. eBay is not luck. It's skill and it's knowledge and it's patience and determination and the willing to uh, willingness to learn. So anyway, this is a monkey banana tie. That's really cute. I would love to know who bought this. <laughs> like, do they work at a zoo? Are they a science teacher? Or are they just like monkeys? I always like to know why people buy things. Anyway, Madison only has 124 feedback. She's not been doing this a long time, and she's a young girl. She's in her early 20s, I think. And um, so she's done really well because she is devoted to doing this. She's smart. She does her research. She finds great things to sell, and she's consistent. So when you're on Money Making Mondays, you need to watch for her listings because she does a great job. So that's my plug for 
for that. Okay, here's something interesting. Jen bought this for $3 at a thrift store, sold for full asking price of $39.99, took about six months to sell. And what is it? Vintage Sears Black Slip Full Length Long Lingerie. So it's a vintage slip. I guess this could be like a negligee or um, a nightgown type thing or a slip. But that is definitely Sears Vintage. Yep, there's the tag. You can tell. So Jen turned two dollars did she say three dollars into forty dollars it took about six months so she did wait that out but that's what it takes sometimes I get this question all the time I listed this item two weeks ago and it hasn't sold well that's okay the right person hasn't come along yet you can't rush that you can't force a sale you find great items you present them well you price them well, correctly and you wait for the right buyer this cannot be done on your timeline. This is done on the buyer's timeline. So you can't come up with these arbitrary rules for your business like you think everything should sell in a month because it just doesn't work like that. You've got to be patient. Um, so I'm going to wrap up this video and going to make another one picking up right here because I've gotten a little behind on this, but I do want to um, remind you, if you want to learn more about eBay, go to my website, SuzanneAWells.com. I have all kinds of courses for you. Some are free, or you can you know, buy the downloads and do those courses on your own. Or if you just want to talk to me about your business and how to grow your business, take a look at what you're doing now and help you understand how to do things better you can book a phone call with me I can cover a lot in 30 minutes and we can get you on the right track and help improve your eBay selling so thank you so much for watching love your comments below and have a productive and profitable day on eBay bye